Hey, good morning, it's Vape AM. The Chameleon by Hot Sig. What is that thing? It changes color when you vape. Today, we're going to look at the thing, do a first unboxing, and do a build on it. So this is really exciting. This is Vape AM, the show where you wake up with me. I'm Juicy Jones, and we're in Horrible Hip Vaping Headquarters. I'm sorry I can't talk this morning. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. So what we're doing is looking at my new... Hot Sig Chameleon RDA, which is really cool. It changes color when you vape, and they just sent it to me. I'm on the Brain Power team. And so we're going to look at it for the first time and put a build on it, which I've never done before. Because I just got it in the mail yesterday. As you can see, it's, all, it's still wrapped up, actually. So I actually don't know. You know what? I'm not putting this on because it's too hot. Uh, so I'm pretty excited that I've got this thing. I've got my Geek Girl, Geek Girl Con shirt on. I love Geek Girl Con. It's cool. I hope everybody out there is doing great. It's nice here. I think we need to take a vape and do some coffee. I want you guys to notice that I have my new my new uh, Shakespearean insult coffee mug. I can't tilt this, obviously, because it will spill all over my desk. Long-tongued babbling gossip. Thou art a boil, a plague sore. I love this thing. So here's the guy. You can see the theme today is what? The theme is, these are all my bottom tank RDAs, or RTAs. There's the Avocado, the Haze, the Evogo, Velocity, and the Fodi, by Eat Cigar. That's pretty cool. Going back up to the main view. So I hope all of you are having a nice morning. Let's check out and see who's in chat this morning. Who's in chat this morning? First we have to find the window that we put the chat in. That's very good. So let's see, who do we have here? We have Badass Vapor, Bob, good morning, Easdell, Brian Berman, Owen Ginter, Vapor for Beginners, Skeletor's there, Brandy, Brian, we have a whole bunch of people. There's people that weren't in here that I was just talking to, too, like uh, Milkman John and Rhonda and Ryan, all you guys. So we love you guys. Mick was here, and uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I invited Tina from Hot Sig to watch this, too, so maybe she'll be able to see us do the, uh, the unboxing. That would be cool. So that'd be pretty fun. Uh, what are you guys vaping there in chat? I'm going to have a quick one. It's my avocado with some resting bitch face. On my DNA 200. I got my hot stick out. Actually, I never put this thing away. I always use my hot stick. Mm. Sweet coffee eases the pain. You guys will love these builds that I put on my, on my, I rebuilt all of these. So, I put a frame on this. No, it's not frame. What am I saying? I don't know how to do my own camera. I put a, uh, a big Clapton on this. Big five wrap. And uh, this is fantastic. This comes out to 0.24 ohms. And I run it with the airflow on medium and it's freaking killer. I love it. I'm going to turn off autofocus because I hate autofocus. So this thing is super killer and that build turned out really great. It was really good. And so the avocado has a new build. The haze has a new build, which I stuck that little guy in there. It's fine. And uh, it's just brown because it's got ethyl maltol in the liquid, but this thing's vaping like a thing and like a champ. And that's a 0.5, which is killer. The Avogo got two Claptons, and these are six wraps. And uh, it's 20, it's 28 on 32, it's 26 on 32 Claptons, and so this ohms out to about 0.9 on uh, both of these. And this vapes like a million fucking bucks, which I'll vape this in just one second for you. And I rebuilt the Fodi. I put another Clapton on that, looks like a six wrap. And this guy comes out to 1.14. And this vapes also like a million bucks at 1.14 ohms. So that's one question I got for some of you guys is, you know, what kind of variety do you guys vape sometimes? I vape actually a wide variety of stuff. These are all Clapton builds, but these are just my, my RDA tanks. I, For my actual RTAs, 
I tend to do different stuff. Everyone does. And for my for my RDAs, we're going to do something slightly different. We'll do maybe a parallel or something for the chameleon. Let's go back here. So this is pretty fun. I wanted to show you guys this Evogo. Brandy, I sent you a message on Facebook yesterday, but you didn't respond to me. I was asking you if you have built on this thing yet. Because I remember you got one just about the same time I did. And uh, it's pretty cool. This is the Evogo Velocity. We're just going to, by the way, for you guys just tuning in, this is Babe Bam. I'm Juicy Jones. It's Orbital Vaping Headquarters. It's 10 after 6. And we're going to take a first look and an unboxing at the Hot Sig Chameleon today. Right now, we're just chatting and catching up. We're going to do this in probably just a couple of minutes. We're going to get to that unboxing. I'm just waiting for everybody to get into the channel because I inevitably, after, it's good to spend about 15 minutes just talking in the beginning because a lot of people just roll in. Because it's morning time. And everybody's not doing their thing. So this vape's like a million bucks. Seriously. It's absolutely amazing. Hey, Cloud Castle. What's up, dog? Um, yeah. Yeah, delicious. Easel says that he can only build at 0.5. Uh, so there you go. And that's got to be because of his atomizer or his uh, tank, I'm guessing. Like, for example, in my Earl Koenigan, I pretty much always build the same thing in that because <laughs> it's pretty small. And I put 26 or 28 in it. But this is killer. But the problem with this is this is the worst thing in the world to fill. I'll do a whole video on this if you guys want. Uh, Badass Vapor, if you're talking about this thing, this isn't a Velocity RD, RTDA clone. This is the Evogo Velocity. That's the way to refer to this. Because Evogo makes this. And they make clones. But this isn't a Velocity. It's a Velocity style. But you can see it's got the thing. It's really confusing. They write the word Velocity. Fast Tech writes Velocity on it. Um, but this is a clone company anyway. And Fast Tech put these on there yesterday, and they were already on there. So there must be a new supplier for the same thing or something. I don't know. Um... But I do not recommend this uh, unless you're willing to fill it with a syringe. I told you so. If you don't have a syringe, you are not filling this. And I'll show you why on another video another day, my friends. Oh, yeah. So I'm pretty excited. Here's what we got out of the uh, out of my question of what people are winding and vaping. It looks like uh, Vaping Micra does all kinds of stuff. Uh, Easel does half ohm builds, like I said. Um, it looks like Badass Paper said he wants one of these Velocity things, too, or he noticed them. Maybe he doesn't want one. Uh, Orbital Joe's here. Hey, man, nice to see you. Um, I'm just reading through the chat here. Looks like Ryan Berman likes Twisted and Helix Parallels, Clapton's. He likes them by 2.2 to 0.4. And, um, and, uh, oh, James is reminding me to tell everybody, uh, I have to remind you that I won the rig V2. Um, giveaway on Instagram, which is amazing. You know, I don't know if you guys noticed my Instagram, but I hope you do. But I actually don't enter contests. I enter like one contest every two or three weeks, maybe, if I think it looks cool. And that rig one, I want that. And Skeletor and I were just talking about how I really need a good tube mod, and my old tube mech is terrible. And it cracks me up because I totally, I totally won the Rig V2 contest. I'm going to get the page up just to show you guys. Because it's cool. Cool, cool. I can't believe I won the Rig mod. All right, let's just let's turn this on. Shall we? There we go. So, hmm, sorry about that. I just moved my camera. So, let's see. 11,000 followers. So, there it is right there. 75,000 winner. Juicy Jones HQ. And here's the odd thing. I've messaged him like four times. No response. So, Rig, hello. <laughs> I, I want to win. <laughs> I messaged him on Facebook and on here. And I have no... No idea what's going on. I think I'll do it here again. All right. I told him again. No answer. Okay. That's pretty exciting. 
So for those of you who are interested in catching up with me, that's cool. I got that. So the two big things that happened this week are that um, I got on the Hot Sig Brain Power Team, which we're about to do this unboxing here, and I got on that Rig Mod thing, which is pretty cool. Plus, I hit 10,000 Instagram followers, and which is now 11,000. This just keeps going up, which is cool. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to get the glow-in-the-dark one. And I'm disappointed that nobody made any suggestions yesterday except for Brian. But anyway, there aren't any suggestions to make, I realize, after I posted that. I take that back. I'm not disappointed because I realize that there's nothing. To, I mean, <laughs> what did you get? Brass, copper. I mean, I think I'm going to get the glow-in-the-dark. So that is cool. And the tungsten is very nice. And, oh, they're giving me, a, they're giving me um, the roughneck, too. I get the combo. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. My one disappointment is that it will not fit my goon. And I have an idea to make it fit my goon using a vape clip thing from Skeletor. We're going to see how that works. Um, so let's read a Shakespearean insult. Anointed sovereign of sighs and groans. <sighs> That's awesome. All right. At 6.15, let's do this. Let's do an unboxing. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. We're going to desk view. Super desk view. And you know, I think I'm going to zoom in my ugly face. Zoom in my ugly face. That's really way better. That way you can see me express myself. You express myself. Okay, I am super stoked about this. Josh C says he's been having problems with juice companies sending him his stuff too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this shit happens. It's weird. Oh, we're going to do not disturb. So don't message me here. By the way, if you do want to message me during the show, um, probably the best thing to do is to actually send me an SMS text message. Actually, I need to figure something out because I'm always on mute. Oh, I should give him a call. Thanks, James. Good idea. It's not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, the white one should look cool. Vaping uh, Micra says the white one's proper nice. And I'm thinking that the white rig mod, if I get that one, it's going to look really good with anything I put on it. Pretty much. My only problem is if it gets dirty, um, but it may not. The Decimus shit coating was terrible. Okay, so here we are. I'm so excited. I haven't even opened this thing. I know a little bit about it, but not too much. The first thing I'm going to do is give you guys a little information about Hot Sig. So let's go back up to the main, actually. So if you don't know much about Hot Sig, they are pretty cool. And they're called Shenzhen Hot Technology Company Limited. And what this is, is the Chameleon RDA, and this thing changes color as you vape. If you don't know Hotsig, you may be familiar with them from products like the DNA 200, DX200 that I've got, which I worship this thing. Um, this is the only one on the market with a hot replaceable battery. You can travel around, and it's got three sleds, 1300 mAh, dual 18650, and this 900 mAh, which I own two of these. So this is my favorite mod of all of my mods, period. I, can't believe I'm saying that, but it actually is, except maybe my beautiful new Bay Custom, which has to, is obviously the best one. Well, Ryan Berman says that white mods clean easy with Magic Eraser, but that's not always true. The Decimus didn't clean ever. And the Decimus was made of like a weird... It's because they didn't use a Cerakote. They used a weird sink coating, and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. I say... So let me zoom back out a little bit here. Um... So anyway, Hot Sig is pretty cool. They have a bad name, but they keep on changing it. Their website is hot-vapor.com, and they make this thing in a million different colors and some a few RDAs and stuff, and this one is called the Chameleon. It's this. Uh, it's the latest RDA from Hot Sig. The color changes while you vape. We're going to see in a minute because I'm going to put a build in it, and we're all going to do it together. Uh, when it cools down, it returns to the original color. The features of the Chameleon are features. Tube color changeable when you vaping. So that means the tube changes color while you vape. Uh, the Velocity Deck designed two coils and single coil optional. So it has a Velocity Style Deck. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. So that'll be cool. Uh, air Blow Heat Wire Straightly. So that means it has direct airflow right onto the coil. That's cool. 510 Connector Electrode Adopted Height Adjustable. So it has an adjustable 510, they claim. That's cool. Uh, drip Tip Optional. So it has a probably a funky built-in and then maybe a, a, an adapter. 22 millimeter diameter, which means it's going to fit on my rig mod. And uh, black, yellow, and red. So let's go. I'm pretty excited. And I want to thank Tina from Hot Sig for um, putting me on the team, sending me this. And I like you guys. I worship this. And I'm excited to open this thing up. I'm always excited about these. Uh, also, if you guys have any questions or anything for me, I got the chat open. So while I do this, it's going to take a little time to open it up and everything. So ask questions, and we're going to talk about it.
it's all good, baby. And uh, when I start doing the build, I'll call some friends on Skype and stuff. Maybe we'll call Luke and Skeletor and see what they're doing while I'm sitting here dicking around with the desk. So I need to turn off the mother licking friends window because we don't need that. We don't need the mother licking friends window. Okay. So I am pretty darn excited about this. I'm going to take out my little exacto knife and cut this open. It's cute because it comes in the exact same kind of little box that my Hot Sig DX200 came in. You're going to laugh, but this box, or this DNA200, came in a box just like this, but like much bigger. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's pretty nice. It's maybe a little overkill because the box is a bit fragile, but I do think it shows a nice attention to detail. And this is very nice. And maybe I should go into manual focus here. Just for y'all's edification. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll get a little smaller. You don't need me. I'm ugly. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So, let me get manual focus back up to the top a little bit here. I'm sorry this is so awkward, y'all. I'm just working this out. There we go. So it's cool. These guys go to a lot of effort. There's your authentication thing. There's a little break seal. This box is, a, is made of wood, and so it's pretty cool. And let's see, so I'm just going to break this seal right here. And pop that little guy open. Now this thing kind of fell apart when I did it with my hot sig with my DX200, so we'll see how this works. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, it feels like there's some adhesion going on here. Oh, I see. You push this forward, even though that's completely not evident. There you go. There we go. And it's got some hair and stuff. So what do we got? We've got extra O-rings, 510 and drip tip adapter, a key. So not too much, but it's good. Here's the RDA itself, packed in a little hair thing. So I don't think we have any Easter eggs or anything. But this is a cute little box as an age warning. I appreciate that you do something. And I'm sure this isn't expensive or anything, but it's pretty, it's pretty okay. Didn't exactly want that to stick on there, but anyway, this is this could be a lot worse. I appreciate that it goes some effort to package their stuff up kind of nicely. Uh, and here's the actual RDA. I'm pretty excited. Hi, April. Nice to see you. No, we just did the unboxing. All right, that's it. It's black. It's got single and double O-ring configurations. I can see that. Single Cyclops and symmetrical cyclops. This is the chuff adapter here and that isn't an adapter, it's a whole top cap. So there's your mini chuff, there's the top. So far I like it. Big wide deck, top adapter goes in. In a second here I'll pop out the uh... Ho -ho. I'll just leave that taken apart for now. Why not? Yeah. Just pop that out. The O-rings aren't too tight. I'm concerned that when it gets wet, that won't be great. But I like the big fat O-ring here. Let's take a look at this cap and see if I can get it to change color by just putting my finger on it. Ryan Berman says that the packaging of this thing is better than flawless. So not yet. This probably needs quite a temperature change. My finger temperature isn't quite doing it. So 100 degrees isn't enough. That's good news. Uh, let's take a look at the deck. Uh, Daddy likes so far. Um, it's got side airflow, no, bottom airflow, and because it's a velocity deck, I don't think that the dripping will be too bad on this. You drip in the middle, it'll soak up into the things, and this this will be okay, I think. Yeah, that's good. Reminds me a little bit of this freak show, tiny bit, except it's 
It's a Cyclops. So this is pretty cool. Let me take out their key. And then we'll see what's up. The key they sent me is bent. It's fun. Yeah, there we go. So these feel pretty good. I don't like the bent Allen key, but <laughs> whatever. So yeah, we'll put something in this thing. It's really tight, which I don't I don't mind that a bit. It looks like those holes are pretty good. Let me break out my micrometer and we'll see what the measurement is on these. It looks like they're about two, yep, the two millimeter holes. I can't do this in the reflection, but on the actual measurement, it's fine. It's a two millimeter post hole setup. It's got the velocity style. They're very wide. I can tell you guys what that gap is between them. I kind of wish they were two and a half millimeter holes, to be honest, because there's so much space between these, but we're going to see it's just fine, I'm sure. Yeah. So, that's killer. This is the 510 adapter, which creates a little double heat sink look, and it's a flat top. That's kind of fun. And this it just puts one new heat sink on, and that's dry as a bone. So, the other thing we're going to do here while we chat is I have a little bowl here. We're going back to autofocus, going back to main. And I have a little bitty bowl here, and I'm going to put some of these guys, all these parts, in this and let them soak and get clean because they are dry and disgusting. So we're just going to let this soak and I'm going to scrub those a little bit as we go uh, because it just came from the factory. So, so far so good. I like the wide deck. What do you guys think so far? Uh, <laughs> Billy Marks is watching the show from the laundromat. <laughs> That's killer. I appreciate every single one of you that watches this show and do me a favor and get on every social network in the universe and tell your friends to watch this show. I know that all of you hardcore uh, viewers are already doing that. But if you're new and if you haven't done that, please do that. Do it every week. And today I have this unboxing. Um, next Tuesday I'm going to ask Sean Tapp to come on and do a Clapton build with me. He's going to teach me how to make Claptons. That's going to be awesome. And um, Thursday I'm going to try to do the wood box unboxing, which is cool. And so we're going to have something every, every show. Um, and I'm super excited. But so while this thing cleans up a little bit, uh, I'm just going to fill the time with a little bit of chat and bait. Uh, Ezel asks, I wonder how the paint and color changing would hold up in an ultrasonic cleaner. Also, don't forget, you guys, that the reason for this first look and everything is for you guys to give me questions, too. So as I evaluate this and I go, we're all looking at this together. So you tell me what the questions are and post them in the comments uh, down below, and I'll take those and start asking myself those questions, and then we'll do a live review in a couple of weeks. Uh, and so I'm just writing down that one question that he already asked me, which was uh, how the paint holds up in the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm guessing it's fine because it's just paint. The fact that it responds to color and changes is just a side effect of the paint itself, so I doubt it does anything. I mean, it goes back to this other color. Also, the ultrasonic cleaner isn't very hot, and my fingers are 100 degrees and it didn't change color. Ultrasonic cleaner is about 150, so we're going to vape on this in a minute, and we'll both see. Um, so everybody's here. Good morning. Rhonda, Owen, Bob W., Billy Marks, everybody. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I'll call some friends here on Skype so you're not bored while I'm building. But I'm just going to... Yeah, in fact, I may as well call somebody now. Let's see if Luke is up. Oh, no, look, I have a message right here. I have a phone number. I have to get special Skype up. Special Special Skype. And it's duplicating my audio. It's not anymore. Now I sound beautiful, y'all. Boop, 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 boop. You guys love that sound, don't you?
Hey, Chorus Kill. Turn off the audio. Well, it's only me right now, but nothing. Oh, you mean them. You mean them. It's killer. It's great. I'm really excited about this unboxing. It's nice to have a friend on. That way you can talk while I get completely bored. Or I completely bore people. And, um... Well, I'll be saying something, but I'm still boring. It must be said. Lol. And then let's see if Luke... Luke said he might be up too, so that would be so cool. I hope he is. He's, he's on a weird schedule for another few days because of his... It looks like he's not quite jamming yet, but we'll give him a ring anyway. You know, maybe... Oh, I called the wrong person. No, that sucks, right? <laughs> So I'm pretty excited that this chameleon is so cool, and I, I was I'm actually surprised that the deck is so wide so far. Like I'm down with that. Oh, try that! I'm so sorry. I had the audio turned off. You guys can hear me, but you can't hear Skeletor. I mean, they can hear you now. I just unmuted you. Well, I hope they can hear me now. Yeah, they can. Oh, they can. Oh, but they can. And your hey. audio, you, I think your audio is kind of low, actually. Is it? Let me double yeah. check. You probably quick. have the auto thing turned on because you had the speakers up. That's right. I bet you I did. Tools. Okay, so back on track here. Thanks for the input, guys. I'm so glad we have a live audience because they tell us everything. If we had producers and all that stuff, then they would be handling all this stuff. Hey, it's Luke. I see him. What up, brother? Oh, he's just getting his shit together. Cool. That's no problem. That's cool. Luke. Love Luke. By the way, if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and we got more and more. And um, please don't forget, and my scarf is all fucked up. Can y'all hear me now? Oh yeah, they could hear you before. I'm, I'm catching up with the chat. Oh, I see. Yeah, they can hear you. They could hear you one second after you said they can't hear me. <laughs> because I clicked the button at that moment. So anyway, I gotta get to my I gotta get to my building here. So yeah, I just you can't just you can't just take these things and vape on them the instant you get them because they're just dirty. And don't listen to forget about the words machine oil. This stuff is not machine oil. They do not when you machine things they do not coat it with machine oil. That's not how it works. Um, and so a lot of aggregate and crap. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Um, and whether they're using oil or not. The stuff has to be cleaned and rinsed and all this crap afterwards anyway. What it is is that there's aggregate, soot, stuff from the factory sitting around. Every factory is at different clint levels. and mm -hmm. so, But it's it's not machine oil, like everybody says. That's way too specific for you to sound like you know what you're doing or well, know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just rinsing this thing out just a teeny bit here. I'm just giving it a clean, clean. Yeah, I usually roll mine through a couple cycles of the ultrasonic cleaner, which I was actually wondering the same thing when, um, <clears throat> right before it was asked how it would hold up in the ultrasonic cleaner, I was thinking, hmm, I wonder how it would hold up in the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm guessing it would be absolutely no problem. Yeah, I mean, all it is is vibration. It's not like there's any... Well, it's uh, heat too, there. but... Yeah, there's heat in there on some of them, but it's just not a very big deal. It's just not very much heat. But I can't say for certain there could be manufacturing things. I mean, God knows, man, you know? be whatever oh yeah so i just rinsed this thing out and wiped it off real good because you just got to luke says ring him back killer so let's ring him back mate oh i need to move my chat window because now i'm blocked there he is oh. hey luke what's up bro What's up? Nothing. I'm just chameleoning. I really like this thing actually so far because they have three buttons or they have three airflow options. I don't like it when people have no single coil options. What's cracking, brother? Not much. We had a fun time watching that video from Vape Jam. Did you have fun? Yes, definitely. <clears throat> I've got. I've checked uh, the three interviews that I did um, <clears throat> on the Sunday, and 
Mm, the quality is okay. The, there's a bit of obviously background noise from the music and that, but they should be good enough to get in the vlog. So cool. That's cool. Maybe we can adjust the audio a little. The 510 on this chameleon is pretty. It's okay. It's adequate. It's it's adequate. Is it safe enough to? Uh, it says it's adjustable. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if it's adjustable, then yeah, you're good because it looks like it's. Oh my in god, a that safe is zone for me. It's more than I just unscrewed it, and now it's more than safe. And there's plenty of retention inside the deck right here. Is there? Push on the uh, like squeeze the two posts together and see if you get any jiggle. No, not at all. Uh uh Yeah, Cause that's not what at all. If there's a velocity style deck that says there's adjustable, or if I'm trying to figure out if it is, I'll give it a nice. See what they've done is they've put this inside of an either peak or or ceramic insulator on the deck. It's peak. I can tell by the feel of it, scratching it. Right. And um, so that peak insulator is very rigid, and they made the bottom of the velocity rigid enough to where it does not bend or wiggle. I mean, that's a huge L. Is the correct way to do that in this case. So so far so good. This isn't I've moving. Got, uh, <coughs> got a new RBA today. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. The twisted messes squared. Oh, oh awesome. bang it! So happy that came through today. So I got to play around with that and build that later. Right now, the viewers are watching me unbox and build on the chameleon from Hot Sig. I just un opened it on screen. I didn't even open it yesterday when I got it because I knew it was in it. And uh, I think uh, I'm s uh, I'm slightly disappointed they sent me the black one, to be honest. But I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, I wonder what that bottom airflow is going to be like. Cause I'm not I'm not keen on bottom airflow. Uh, neither am I, but it looks like it's going to be fine because it's channeled. It's not. Um, it doesn't have. Well, we'll see. I mean, I have the same reservations you do always, but if you if you look at it, you can see that. It looks like the coil extends way out over those channels. And if you don't drip on the coil, if you drip in the middle, you'll be fine. Yeah. So that's going to be the key here. You know, anytime you drip on the coil in this thing, if it's already saturated, you're going to get leakage. Although we're going to see how much. In a few yeah, minutes. You know, with, with, how I, uh, with how I build on a post, you know, a dual post, I do a lot of center builds. I, I think... Uh, I think... As I look at it, it might be a little weird on the airflow for me, but uh, I think I goes down to the middle of the coil. I I, I think I won't uh, uh, overdrip that one though. Well, I don't know. I I have a tendency to be able to overdrip the unoverdrippable. The problem with doing a single <laughs> coil in the middle of this one is that the the actual wicking has to extend down into the the uh, these channels. Right. And so if your coil is in the center and it's extending down this way and that means that the end of the coil is going to be somewhere around here in the, these holes and the cotton has to come out of that and go down into these things. So this really wasn't made for a center build. It's possible. Yeah, um, I mean... Uh, I think it'll work. I, I, I think, think it makes I think it makes more sense in this one just to put one coil in it and use the single coil adapter and not put it in the center. Unless you do it adapter. vertically. Well, it doesn't have an adapter. It has airflow. For, I said that. It has, a, it has three airflows. A dual That's cyclops right. and it has a single a single airflow. So I remember um, now. I'm annoyed when people don't have the single airflow. Because that option, if you can't, you know, it just means you have to get another RDA. So this is pretty cool. Well, look at that. So let's stick this thing on the hot sig. The X200. Hot sig. Yep. Start building. You're all matchy matchy now. Yeah, it's black and black, so that's cool. Murdered out. I kind of wish, uh, kind of wish I had the focus. Taff says it looks similar. Does that kind of look similar to the Sub Zero of sorts? No. No. Does it? it might. Did we just look at the Sub Zero last night? If it does, I'm just remembering wrong. That's what's going on. Um. So it definitely might. Oh, he might be talking about the tsunami too, because he was talking about that earlier. Oh right, yeah, it's not very tsunami. -y. So yeah, this this O-ring in here is dry and spongy, and I lick my O-rings. How'd that taste? <laughs> well, I've already cleaned it, but <laughs> it's usually what I do to force them in the first time is lick them. I know. And it's barely 
This thing doesn't have a great fit this first time. No. Well, okay, it's better. There we got it. We made it. It just takes a little bit of... A little bit of licking. A little bit of, yeah, wiggling to get that thing to sit down in there perfectly. But you know what? It's pretty good. The question well, is, you know, will you ever be taking that off again? Probably not. You know, until you switch caps or switch tips. So we'll see. Tony, welcome to the show, sir. The Tony good Hectic. To see you. That's right. That's right. Nice. That's killer. I love it. Mm. Are you building on your twisted messes as we speak, Luke? <laughs> no, I'm just playing with. Me. Oh, hi, Luke. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's better Luke. Second Amendment friendly. Here we go. Better Luke. <laughs> I, my nickname for him is Better Luke, which is cute. Luke nope. is great. I'll tell you that one. Hang on. I'll play in a little bit. Mm. I tell you, this point six or point nine. I actually don't know. Yeah, I think it's point point six or point. I need to actually check the ohms on this. It's on my series box. I checked it before I put it on the box, but I didn't check it since. And I've forgotten. Um, but I'm pretty excited. I think I'm just going to put like a basic 5 or 6 wrap Clapton from the wire on this. Single coil? No, double. Oh, dual. Word. I, don't, I could do a single coil. It would be nice. Um, but I think what I'll do is later I'll put Sean Taft's coil on this thing. Like I had it on my other one. Because I took it off. In fact, I was going to show Sean that... Part of my experiment with the goon was to see if I could get his coil off of it easily and put it back on later. And I got it off so easily, and it looks still looks perfect, and I cleaned it up. So I'm going to put it back, too, and I'll put it on here and see what happens. The right. goon is the okay. best thing. Yeah, that goon's so, sexy. I'm going to have to pick one up, I think. Uh, there's a couple of shops in town that have them. One has a stainless steel. The other one has uh, it's getting in the, the brass and the copper. Oh, that's killer. I think I might go stainless. I don't know. I, I'm thinking it because that'll match more of my boxes and whatnot. Yeah, that's killer. Hold on one second. Hey, I'm back. I just muted myself to you guys and told those guys a little note. Okay. Word. So all I gotta do is find the Clapton wire that I set aside. Here it is. We're using our cheapo Clapton wire because I don't want to waste any good coils on my first build on this thing. Mm -hmm. Smart move. Because I have some really nice coils that I will stick in here. Oh yeah! From Overdose Vapes. And uh, one of which I have in my goon right now that's absolutely incredibly wonderful. And I should be vaping it right now, but I don't have any batteries in this mod. But that's the current build I have in here, which is amazing. I wish it would focus ever. Don't yeah, focus. There it is. That's the that's the parallel. It's a twisted paralleled with a Clapton, and it's fucking amazing. Thank you, Travis. Oh, we're just vapes. That vapes like a million bucks, and it tastes wonderful. Um, but like I said, our theme here today is is funky new weird things. So the changing color and my bottom fill tanks are what I'm vaping on. So I'm just going to make a basic bitch build Clapton, and it's not going to be a, too much of a big deal. Well, already then. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. Yeah. I can't find my coil master winding tool though. That's not very great. Wah wah. Right. So, uh, hashtag avocado club. Hashtag avocado club. Team baby clouds. I tell you what, I I cannot get the avocado off this dopo. This is actually the perfect pairing I've noticed so far. Good uh, battery life. Great vape. Oh cleanliness <laughs> like uh, i've i've had uh when i finally put that bottom o-ring in and it quit leaking on me mm -hmm. thank god um i've been running this bad boy at uh like 66 watts i don't know if it can be yeah. seen or not but Killer. um yeah i got the little matchy matchy third eye drip tip on here but 0 0.37 66 watts these batteries have been in here for 24 hours and i'm probably gonna have to change them in like i don't know maybe after lunch yeah, mm -hmm. they're getting dead. That's cool. We are big fans. Avocado Club. Let me see That's what's right. going on in chat here while I'm looking for my tool. Just to be nice and say, hey, fools. Hey, fools. Hey, everybody. Just Tony Hectic. 
Uh, he's talking switch. about clear coating his brass one. Yeah, you know, maybe. Um, yeah, his goon, like mine definitely is dirty all the time. Um, yeah, you need to get like a jeweler's rag that cleans copper or some shit like that. You know, maybe. I, I'm probably just going to let it patina. Most likely. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, but Cloudcastle, Pain Vapes did make a good point, and I've, I've noticed this as well. And it's maybe my only actual disappointment about the con about the copper, and that is that the patina is on the inside, in in between, between the layers. Um, so that's just my thing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't like that. I don't like the patina on the inside. It makes me uh, think it's I'm vaping dirty stuff. Yeah, I mean it's okay, but yeah, I'm sure you're right. It's a psychological thing. Hmm. Oh yeah. This is going to be easy and fast. So I'm going to use three millimeters. So let's see. Today's the fifth, right? Which means Thursday's show, I will be at 11 months um, from quitting smoking. That's killer. I mean, I'm one month away from my anniversary already. Holy hell. All right. I was just thinking about that for some reason. Squirrel moment. That's awesome. And Tony Hectic goes brasso and elbow grease. That sounds about right. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, Jimmy's talking about a build that we did the other day here at my house in my temple. Uh, I ended up using a four millimeter inner diameter on these bad boys. Oh, yeah, you did? That's unusual. We usually don't do that. <laughs> Well, it is the temple. Right. I just have to get the, uh, well, switch screens here. I hope it never focuses again. Because that's the dumbest thing ever when it focuses. All right, that's going to work. All right. Let's see if we can get in there and kind of see, maybe. No, I'm going to have to take the whole thing off here. For some reason, it doesn't like to... Uh, well, the O-rings are really good. Those O-rings are really good. Um, the O-rings on this chameleon are good, too. So I like this thing. I can't wait to get some... There we go. To get a build in here. And these things get angry. Ooh, they're popping. Yeah, boy. I gotta have open airflow on these. Smells like a Christmas fucking miracle by Run the Vape. Nice. I wouldn't point out that it can, you can get flat spots if you build Claptons with uh, the Coil Master, but I don't have too much of a problem with that. In this case, it's not going to be an issue because this wire is garbage. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do the same thing. I, I don't mind using the Coil Master with cheap, uh, cheap Clapton wire. Yeah. And it's also. Um, I don't wind very tight on it, so that might be one of the things, too. You can. Definitely shouldn't. Okay, so pretty good. I'm um, one wrap shy on one side here. Uh oh. So, whoop. Looks like Luke's juicing up. Is that the Twisted Messes? <coughs> no, I've got to soak that because it's got uh, uh. machine oil or something in it. I'm just putting the uh, tugboat version 2 got the on, factory juice in it <laughs> on the uh <laughs> the new mod that i picked up at vape jam the avatar fx 50 oh that's bitching looking oh yeah. hello does that touch screen or is it uh it it's not touch screen no uh, oh but it's it got a display sexy. i like that display <clears throat> with yeah, some what am I just dripping some anarchist ah yeah you got the anarchist juice Which i'd like to try that which is really tasty. <laughs> so I'm running at, this is a single coil, 0.95 at 24 watts. Ooh, oh, I know that's good. A nice flavor for the vape. Let's see how long this uh, battery lasts. It's a built-in LiPo. Uh, 2500 
Ma. Mm, that's okay. And you've also got the um, output as well, so if you need to like charge your phone or anything, you can use it for that as well. It's quite a nice looking, and it's really light. So I like it. I might do. I'm, I'm thinking about doing um, a live vlog if I can get the system that I've got to work, so I can play the footage that I recorded from the show. I might do a live, Real live idea. vlog. <clears throat> and then I can do a little first look at this mod as well that I picked up. I love it. It's a killer idea. Okay, here we go. And also, I'm going to space these a little bit because that's my new thing. Hey, Luke, they're asking what the profile is on the Anarchist Juice. Oh, God, now you're asking. It's uh, <laughs> sweet sugar cupcake. Um... It's oh, off the top of my head. I do not know. Let me have a look. I have a look. By the way, do not judge like me for five, my shitty buildings. I think there's like five different flavors in there. Oh, it's quite a uh, poorly conceived juice. It's it's really tasty. But if so you're not close. into uh, really sweet sweet vapes, then it might not be that that good for you. It is quite sweet. <laughs> Sounds like a dessert, though. I think I can dig in on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't been showing the building. I apologize. I was off frame. So, this is 0.85. It's going to come out to a little under 0.5 with this little space clapped in. It's going to be fine. And like I said, do not judge my shitty, shitty, shitty building. That's what I am. It's a shitty, shitty builder. But what I am is determined. James Reeves says that it's bakery... <laughs> With white powdered sugar and fruity pebbles. Yeah, yeah juice. Right. this is sweet white sugar cupcake chaos with vanilla cream frosting, riddled with hints of flakes that come frosted and fruit covered pebble mayhem. Oh okay, so taking out all the useless <laughs> words like madness yeah. and mayhem and chaos. Exactly, I get fruity pebbles with frosted flakes and a cupcake. Yep, right. Sprinkled with powdered sugar. That you must avoid. Yeah, they have too many adjectives in there. <laughs> Your strange adjectives. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm just putting the second coral on there. <clears throat> If you've got a sweet tooth, yeah, you'll definitely enjoy it. Oh, I got a sweet tooth. I'm gonna have to find <laughs> a bottle. I do have a sweet tooth, but I'm frightened of what that stuff will hold for me. Yeah, it's right. not bad. It, it was uh, this was ten pound for a sixty mil oh, bottle. Not bad. That's not bad at all. So uh, what about fifteen dollars? Yeah, that's 15, pretty good. Fifteen, bucks for a sixty. Hell yeah. That is one thing that my Mac had at uh, easy access that my new system doesn't have is a currency converter. Oh, just use Google, buddy. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I mean, use all I've the time. Had, yeah. <laughs> I've late. never used that on my... You can... Yeah. That isn't a Mac and PC thing. Doesn't count. Okay. There we go. 0. 0.43. Yeah. And I shouldn't burn dry burn this at 80 watts, should I? Maybe I should go up to uh, 150. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's. Uh, I think. Um, I think you should take it to 200. Why Three not? Or 400 watts. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't have my 200 watt mod yet, or my 300 watt mod yet. Yeah. Right. Two tiers in a bucket, brother. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Okay. So I've got slightly uneven firing, even with my spaced coil. So that tells me I probably should groom them a little bit. Oh, the grooming. It's not optional, you say? Come on. Tighten that beastie down. You'll be good. Yeah. Gotta get some connection going. I didn't actually crank, crank, crank them. I never do. Uh -huh. I usually just throw them in there and then give them a little, a little loving. And they're pretty good, actually. One of them's still a little bit slow, but it's all right. Gonna, I 
it up a little more and then brush it. So, so far, this thing is fantastically easy to build on. It is a big, wide velocity deck with two millimeter holes. There's just, there's nothing to be said about this except for it's just not a problem. Yeah, no doubt. It, it looks like it's uh, pretty decent to build on. I've been most sitting here watching. The most important things to me are always like the, the fit and finish, the build quality of the deck, and how the screws and grub screws behave and everything. And this thing is just fine. And look, my Clapton looks pretty good. Now you can tell I didn't get it perfect, but it's okay. So now we're going to wick it, and we're going to vape the shit out of this mother liquor. Mm -hmm. Get it, get it. Uh... Uh, Rhonda McGee doesn't want her Aromamizer aluminum drip tips. Send them to me. I'll take all of your Aromamizer drip tips for all history forever. Because those things aren't easy to get. <laughs> unless you buy an Aromamizer. I have one of them. And uh, what you should do is just buy more... Why don't you just get more drip tips, Rhonda? She's complaining about the drip tips on Aromamizer, which is perfectly fine. And uh, I was going to say, just get a... Yep. Use any drip tip on that thing. It's just a 510, although not all of them fit, to be honest. Okay. So here we are. I'm just going to use the James Reeves technique on the cotton here. Okay. Where we split it and tug it and so roll it. Doesn't the aromizer drip tips, don't they have like a spit back on them? Yeah, they do. It looks like it's like a, it's like a coil on the bottom. Yeah, I don't like them drip tips either. Right. But there's nothing keeping you from putting other drip tips in there. Nope. Yeah. So it looks like um, somebody's talking about uh, Villain Vapor's Capone. I think that Capone... The Capone's confusing because Capone is also the name of a, a Grizzly Vapor's tobacco flavor. Well, there's also a Capone through uh, one of the Mountain Oak Vapor lines as well. So it does kind of get uh, uh, confusing. I We actually, here at WTF, we did a review on the Villain Vapor's line uh what was it mm -hmm. november i think i was going to say rhonda you're probably rhonda is saying your drip tips don't fit but you're probably going to have to experiment with a few because i have some that fit and some that don't they don't all look very good i'll tell you that mm -hmm. um but i have a couple to do um but isn't that just the way it is people are always like selling you custom drip tips Oh yeah, that's, that's there's how this a business bunch is. of companies out there now that uh, do custom drip tips. One of them's Third Eye Drip Tips that I have here. There's Trinity. There's Gatorboard. There's all it's kinds. It's like Mopar, Auto Parts, but like there's a drip tip that looks okay. It's one of my Delrin ones. Um, you know, but to be honest though, I'm not a huge fan of the Aromamizer, so maybe I'm the wrong person to ask. I actually think that the Griffin and the Moonshot are better, but just based on what I know of the Griffin and I own a Moonshot. I'm going to be doing that review too. I think next week. I think it's almost time to do the Moonshot review review because I've got almost all my notes. All right, so let's hurry up and get this done. I've been taking too long here. I'm using the James Reeves technique of just stretching out layers of your Muji and then just rolling them up. And I can tell you that this one is going to be too fat. Wah, wah. Uh, not much of a wah, wah, but it's going to be way too fat. I'm going to enjoy it. I put in a three millimeter, yeah, that's too fat. So I'm just gonna cut part of it. And use that much of it. Wah, wah, wah. And in fact, that may even be too fat, Jesus. That's humongous. I've got no traction. I've got no friction. Snip it. Fat. There mm. you go. I'm finally catching up. <laughs> yeah, that's not to do commentary on the live video. 40 yeah, seconds no doubt. Later. <laughs> Forty seconds later. Not. Yeah. Brett just asked if anybody has tried the RBA for the Dove Post Second Harvest Tank, and no, I haven't had the opportunity yet. I'm sure I will. Um, I'm actually rocking a uh, review for the Guardian 1.5 V2 again. I actually got the... Did you get the Harvest Tank? Uh, no, I haven't gotten it yet. 
I haven't gotten it yet, but uh, I've also got another machine coming from Dopo here in a couple of weeks that's going to be fun to play with. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Well, that's cool. Mm hmm. I've never heard of the Harvest Tank. Well, there's two. The, uh, the V2 is what they're calling the second Harvest Tank. Mm -hmm. And uh, the V1 was okay. I think um, aesthetically, it was ugly as hell, but uh, it worked well. Um, I like the second harvest look a lot better. It's kind of like what they did with the the Triton. It had a cage, and then they made it cageless. Oh yeah, yeah. So in case you guys aren't noticing, I'm just rolling up my Muji pad and then gradually taking little chunks of the roll out to make sure it's correct. So in the chat. We have good morning, Julie LeBlanc. That's great. Mm -hmm. She just showed up. And what we're doing is, let me just do a little station identification here. Hey, it's 7 o'clock. I'm Juicy Jones. This is Vape AM. We're talking about the Hot Sig Chameleon today, doing a build, first unboxing and everything. And I've got Skeletor and Luke yep. on the line as well, just so you guys know. I'm going back to my business. Back to the wicking man. Yes. The bump a clock cotton boy. If everybody wants to see this thing change color, they're like, hurry the hell up, you shitty yeah, builder. Right? You're the worst <laughs> builder in history. <laughs> Which is absolutely true. In every way. Absolutely true. Hmm. Uh, that was garbage. Um, also, in case you guys are wondering, you know, when you're wicking RDAs, you know, you only need as much width on your wick as it takes for them to touch underneath and curl under and touch each other. So you don't want overlapping piles of wick under the coil. You just want the ends to go like this. So. And some people would argue that you want even less or even more. Some people like what's called the, the roll or whatever, but this, I like to go relatively short and go into the well. Now in this case I'm going to use slightly more I'm just cleaning this up because this has got a big deck and it needs to wick in from the middle real good so right now I'm just making sure my edges are good. Edges are tidy. Everything looks good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine folks. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. That's <laughs> not true actually. There's plenty to see here. We're building on the chameleon. Uh, Brett just said that he's almost finished watching the DVD 12 rounds waiting for this. <laughs> the what DVD? The movie 12 rounds with John Cena. Oh, I never heard of it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, made by World Wrestling Entertainment. Oh, nice. So I can see now that this is going to be too much wick. Because it actually only goes into the corner. It's not going to affect this, though. It doesn't have to be perfect, Juicy. It only has to be functional so we can see it change fucking color. <laughs> yeah, hurry up, man. The suspense is killing us. The sad thing is that all of my the people who watch my shows are better builders than I am, with very few exceptions. <laughs> so that's, that's always intimidating for anybody doing anything. Minkmachine.com has aromamizer tips. M I N K? M I N K M A C H I N E dot com. Minkmachine.com. Thanks, Tony. Excellent. A little Tony Hectic. Yeah. Good tip, buddy. Hmm. Just the tip. Now, this Muji cotton, one of the things I don't like about it is it's so hairy. Yeah. Like, holy shit, this stuff just goes everywhere. It fragments. The strands on the cotton bacon are longer, and so it's simply easier to work with. I've been stuck on native wicks lately, brother. Uh, yeah, same thing. I mean, I'm not trying since... to start a war, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Fuji, but I, I like how the uh, the native wicks, it, it, it's got the fibers instead of the hairs. So it, it's got the long fibers. It's easier to, like, strip off. Like, I can just run my finger lightly down it and twist, and it'll take now all you're, that, Now you're talking about why I love fiber freaks people that complain about fiber freaks 
I've never I mean, it's one thing it. not to prefer it, but people who are like, screw that, it's plastic, whatever, they have no idea. Fiber Freaks is like, it's like engineered perfectly. It's like the way wicking should be. And you stick it in, and it's like this big fluffy thing. It's awesome. Right. But I don't think it performs better than cotton bacon or lightning wicks. I'm willing to try it. Um, Have you fiber. seen the <coughs> uh, new native wicks? No, huh? Yeah. Uh, what is it? They've got. Uh, they've just brought out. Well, they've got some. I know some people have had sample packs of this. Uh, they're calling it a premium blend. Mm-hmm. Oh. So apparently, a lot. Some of the people that I've heard that have used it, they've they've said it's even better than the standard native wicks. That's what I want to hear. I want yeah, to try it. Too, hey, what should I vape on this right. thing for the first time, guys? Any ideas? Uh, do you have Frida? No. Not that I can vape. I mean, I have some for the review, but I'm not vaping oh, okay. it. Okay. Um, Stifler's mum. How about yeah? yeah Stifler's mom. That'll work. That a resting bitch face. I mean, nah. I'll use Stifler's mom word. because I owe them a review anyway, and it's been a long time, <laughs> and it's good stuff. And I actually have it in. Oh, it fell off my table. It's down here in the ground. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Stifler's mom right here. Um, I actually have this in a unicorn bottle. Pretty handy. If you guys haven't tried Stifler's Mom, it is the, you know, basically my favorite AZ swag sauce. I've only tried two of them, and this one is absolutely great. It's strawberry butter. I mean, vanilla cream butter. <laughs> butter. Strawberry butter. Vanilla butter. cream butter. Does it have some butter in it, Juice? Butter. Butter. But I keep a, I keep a 30 of Stifler's Mom sitting in my, in my bag, along with my resting bitch face. And it's funny, one of the reasons I carry these together is that Resting Bitch Face and Stifler's Mom look the same on paper. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a strawberry cream, but there's no Bavaria in Resting Bitch Face, and I think it's actually a little better. Okay, so I'm going in the middle. I'm just painting the coils from the side. One of the things that I always do with these atomizers that have bottom airflow is I paint the coils from the sides. You guys probably do that too. I see Lies is here. Hey, I see Lies. Great to see you, man. Kevin is here. Hello, Kevin. Alex Schultheis. I see him. Hello, Al. Uh, Alex. Gesundheit. That's you. Thank you. Alex Schultheis. I love these guys. I love all you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And somehow we need to find some way to force every person on YouTube to watch the show too. So we'll eventually, you know, I'll be king of the world, and we'll force everyone to do it eventually, but that'd be great. I'm so excited. Here we go. Now, this top cap is extremely thin, by the way. Is I it? mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it feels... Oh, first, I better, I better get some... I'm licking my finger and just spreading some liquid on the inside of the cap. That's just because of the O-rings. I have a Zeppelin under my leg. Oh, it fits on great though. It doesn't have a snappy poppy feel like a like a Watovo does, right? Um, and it has a kind of a thin walled feel. I actually would like a little bit more grip on it. It's kind of small, but then again, I love it. Look at that great look. You guys will see this in a minute. But man, the murdered out black look is fantastic. Pardon me, I just burped some coffee. Um, okay, let's do this thing. I'm gonna vape this thing. I'm gonna vape this thing. One of the things I gotta do is zoom back out. Okay. Oh, should I do 30 watts? You think that's too little? What's your resistance? Oh, I'm just kidding. It's so li it's like <laughs> <laughs> I just had it on 30 watts because I was dry firing it. Um, it's 0.43. I'm gonna go to about 120 watts. How was that? The vape is good. A lot of airflow. Yeah. So, yeah, that Cyclops airflow in the chuff is a lot of air. So I'm actually going to restrict it a little bit, if you can believe it. Because that's my jam. I don't like fully, fully open airflow, but a lot of people do and like it. Now, nothing's happening so far, but I'm going to keep vaping. Mmm. Ooh. Good flavor. Yeah. Dude, these Claptons are chucking clouds in this little space build. Not bad. It's getting all... It's getting all cloudy out in here. 
Hmm. You guys see a change of color yet? Look! First change. What do we got? A change in color on both sides, right about. Oh, you can see where the heat is. Oh, this is so cool. Well, the thing is, <clears throat> Sam Wells points out it seems gimmicky to him. I think that's totally valid. It does seem gimmicky. It is a gimmick. But the question is, you know, is the RDA good enough to justify the gimmick? Right? Oh, nice. That's cool. Really? I'm catching up finally. Yeah, it's starting to turn gray. Fully gray. <laughs> Taps like, uh, how's it vape, motherfucker? It vapes fucking awesome. Yeah? You like that airflow? It's, yeah, yeah. This thing is a perfectly fine vape. I don't the the cap. You know, coming from my goon, this cap feels insignificant because it's a, a little thin piece of stainless steel with a coating on it. And I'm sure that they made this slightly thinner than they normally would because that they needed this coating to be sensitive to the heat differential or whatever. That's really cool. And I just don't have very much of a complaint so far. This thing is easy to build on. It's a little short and hot, so uh -huh. this chuff cap. It's a little bit close to my lips, for my big, fat lips. Mmm, big, fat lips. That's what she said. So, would you say that uh, tossing, like, a, a an acrylic tip in the 510 adapter is going to be better for the heat uh, heat convection? I don't have to, I don't have to, to uh, speculate, because I'm going to put in the 510 adapter. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Kevin Hanfin in the chat says Eli Juicy Jones is going to pass out before he finishes if it before it turns all white. <laughs> What's the over under on that, <laughs> Kevin? Let me know what the over under is on Juicy passing out before it turns colors. On the odds. The thing is, um, in a second here, I'm going to switch to resting bitch face because it is at 1.5 percent. Ha ha. Yeah, no doubt. Ha, We're not going to have another uh, another episode of Pank. Yeah, that was really that was, funny, actually. That was. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, watch our Pank review, and you'll see that it's actually the second try where I'm like, Arr! and I'm actually really glad we didn't get the first one recorded, because if you'd seen my face, you guys would have been like, holy shit, Jesus, you look like shit, man. <laughs> he was turning as green as his beanie. And my girlfriend walked in, and I said, hon, I got Nick sick during that review, and she said, you look terrible! <laughs> Just Cassius, like that. Here. Hello, Cassius. Nice to see you, sir. Oh, hey, Cassie, it's great to see you. Oh, look, it's the aluminum dot. Oh, my God, that looks cool. I put right, my dot it. mod drip tip on it. Word. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, that looks cool. I'm going for the black because we're all murdered out. Right. It looks oh, oh, yeah. Oh, murder. Murder. Okay. So, it must be said that... With a, a regular drip tip on this thing, there's absolutely no heat problem whatsoever. I mean, this thing has a freaking Delrin insulator, a Teflon insulator, mm -hmm. and a heat sink. I'm having a little bit of a problem keeping the 510 adapter on the, the atomizer. Just a little. And I think that's just a matter of the O-ring breaking in. Right. Okay. Um, but it's a very, very thin friction fit drop. It's real small, that flange the drip tips and the o-rings on it and so there isn't a huge amount of clearance above the o-ring for you to press it down in there and so i may have to replace this drip tip i'm sorry not drip tip but the o-ring nope i got it in there it's okay yeah there we go just squeeze it all you had to do was caress it just had to touch it gently just had to touch it gently i'm going to switch drip tips because this one just isn't very stable unfortunately mm. That white one did look pretty dope on it, though. Yeah, it does. The red one looks pretty cool, too. Yeah. Black and red. I wonder yeah. oh. what that green would look. Ooh, I bet you that green would look dope, too. Mm, yeah. Green one's in my avocado thing here. Yeah, green one looks killer, obviously. Um, yeah, 0.43. If this thing's at 0.43... So, one thing I'm not wild about... I mean, it's, it's cool, but you'll notice that when you turn... The airflow it freely turns, which is fine. But I secretly kind of wish that that didn't turn so easily, because now I'm having trouble always getting the atomizer off. It always adjusts your airflow when you screw it on and off. Mm. Just so you know that. So yeah, it's getting dry there. So this time we're gonna take my completely unlabeled resting bitch face. 
Resting Bitch Face is a strawberry milk profile that I made myself. And oh look, I dripped over the coil and it's leaking out the hole. So, just so you know, that is going to happen. Well, alrighty then. You know what? I'm going to vape on some Resting Bitch Face with you. How's that sound? Killer. What about you, Luke? Do you have any Resting Bitch Face left? <laughs> That'd be silly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Dude. Well, that reminds me, because that means that I can send you some more here. I just made another batch, and I've got to send it out to the giveaway winners who didn't get theirs last time, which is going to be sent. Okay, so both holes are open, and I'm going to close it up a little bit, halfway maybe. 120 watts, 0. .43. Oh, fuck yeah. This thing, dude. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh. Yeah. And I tell you, it, it doesn't change color that quickly. That's kind of cool, though. Makes you wait for it. Yeah, but it, I have to vape kind of a lot to get it to change color. That's already kind of a... Uh, it's not that beefy. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll put some of these crazy uh, staged parallels in here and do it that way. I bet you the, uh, the heat will uh, turn it a little quicker that way. I mean... Yeah. Stage clapping should heat up quicker. Yeah. Because you know, this is just a regular Clapton 6 rat point four three. It's not really making it change super fast. We're back on the desk. We're dry again. Almost. Oh, yeah. I just dripped a bunch into the center, and it just spewed out the side. Oh, yeah? So center dripping is no bueno? Well, we'll see. I mean, that isn't a hard conclusion. It's just something that happened. It could that's have been the way I wicked it. How I drip, too, is center cap. I don't, I don't even take the top cap off. I just drip through the chuff. Just looking at my. Check it around. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. That's I actually almost always drip by taking the cap off. Usually, it's just a habit. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, April. Ask him. Ask him for resting bitch face at your local store. That's awesome. That's my. That's my DIY. I would love that. No doubt. Sean Taft says try bigger O-rings on the cap, and I may have to, although it already has a really, really beefy fat O-ring on it. It needs a slightly beefier one, maybe. And it's not unpleasant or bad. It might it might be a good compromise. It might be me just reacting to it, because after all, once you adjust it, you usually just vape. Look! Oh, wow! So while you vape, it's like... If I just sit here and dry burn it, it changes color quite quickly. <laughs> That's cool. And part of that must be the liquid spinning up into the thing. So let me look at my own camera and see if I can see it changing colors as I've ate. Hmm, although it's, it's all gray now. I like the changing color. At first I thought it was going to be completely... Maybe... Hokey. Yeah, I mean, I knew it'd be kind of hokey or whatever, but I, I guess it, I just kind of like it because the vape tastes good and because it's easy to build on. So first impressions are pretty good so far. I'll get a real review. I'll use this thing for a couple of weeks, and we'll see what's up. But so far, I like it. Excellent. Yeah, I do. I'm going to switch to a black drip tip just for fun. <laughs> it's like a teeny little drip tip. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that one doesn't look that good. Where's my crazy little drip tips? I have a little bucket. There you are, a little bucket of drip tips. There's my Kanger drip tip. It's fine in there. Right, I am going to have to leave you guys to it. I need to do some bits around the house because I haven't been at home for very long. I only come home yesterday. But um, <clears throat> I may plan to do my live vlog tomorrow. Okay, excellent. 
So if I decide to do it, I'll, I'll set it up and try and share it around so people know. <clears throat> and I'll try and get my uh, thing working so I can actually play the footage at the same time as well. That'd be fantastic. But awesome. <clears throat> I will catch up with you all later. Have a great day, Luke. All right, Luke, you have a yep. good one, sir. Stay safe, See bro. you later. Excellent. Peace. Luke is doing his thing, getting back in his schedule. Excellent. Getting back on his schedule. Hmm. When I'm walking, I strut stuff. There we go. All right, we good? Pretty much. Yep. All right. Yeah. How's it vape? Pretty darn good. Would you recommend it to a friend? I know. I'm going to save all that stuff for the actual review. Don't know yet. You can't make recommendations like that after an hour. Well, I don't know. This avocado had me a jump. Well, that's true. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> I can tell you this. I definitely wouldn't say avoid it so far, just based on what I know now. I mean, yeah. so far, it's fine. I don't have too much of a problem with it. I'm not a huge fan of the chuff cap yet, but over the next couple of weeks, we'll see. Might change my mind. It definitely looks great. I love short, low-profile things, so... It's funny that the chuff cap makes it change color much slower. Yeah. Like, much slower, because it's, like, just more air going through. It doesn't, doesn't get as hot. Right, right. But with the, uh, the 510 on there, it heats up pretty decent. Yeah, so you get kind of a better effect on the 510. I'm just pulling the chuff tip adapter out and putting the 510 back on. Yeah, so so far I like it. Yeah, the 510 adapter goes on easily too. Now that I've got some juice on it and it's been used a little bit, it's quite a bit easier. Mitch K in the chat is asking me if you've seen the BMI V2. Yep, sure have. Absolutely. Totally seen it. No hope that I'll ever own one of those, unfortunately, although I would love to. I really want one, but I can't afford it. They don't love me enough to send me one. Oh, that would be killer. I'd be thrilled if we could do the BMI V2s on the show. It'd be more than amazing. <coughs> that would be. <laughs> April says that she's jealous because she wants to try the resting bitch face. She's known <laughs> through her family as the resting bitch face 24-7. I'll make you some resting bitch face, April. She has to swear to everybody that she's not mad all the time. Lol. It's one of the reasons I named it that, because I just think that's one of the funniest memes. <clears throat> yeah. I'm working on an, another flavor right now called Brother from Another Mother. Bam! Try. Bam, bitches. Oh, man, so, this thing vapes great. I find out uh, that my mother was watching the show this morning. She had to go for a meeting. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I'm wow, on. putting Wait. in a thinner drip tip in a 510 makes it change color way faster. I have trouble making it change colors with this build on the chuff tip. So, obviously, I've got to put in a hotter build <laughs> to get it to do this. So, the question will be, does the gimmick, does the gimmick, is it visible enough? So, it's fun. <clears throat> yeah, the Goldie uh, is the, uh, Mitch K is saying that, they're they're really pricey, and the Goldie's the only thing by BMI he can afford. That's true for me too. We were looking at Fast Tech yesterday at some crazy stuff. They have like a DNA forty on Fast Tech for sale that has uh, it's a DNA forty at a stab wood, and it's like three hundred bucks on on or two hundred and seventy bucks on Fast Tech. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Which is very expensive. <laughs> Why was it so easy to turn that one time and now it's not changing color so quickly? It is changing color, though. Maybe it was uh, the drip tip you were using was, I don't know, convecting the heat different. Who knows? It's weird. I put the same one back on. That's strange. It, uh, what's an interesting thing about this, too, is you can see uneven firing. Like, you can tell right away if your stuff's firing unevenly. Mm-hmm. 
Mr. Cobra Fire asked me if I've tried the Joker yet from Easy Swag Sauce, and the answer is no, not yet. But <coughs> I want to try that one. And I want to try the other one that the Joker is similar to as well. Or the Joker is the Skittles one, I believe. He'll remind me in a second here. Team Baby Clouds. Team Baby Clouds. Let me get my Team Baby Clouds rig going here. The appearing mod with the Phoenix. Hmm. We are Orange vaping the shit out of this thing. Strawberry and rhubarb crumbled DIY juice. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Josh Seed said Team Baby Clouds in chat, but he put a hilarious devil remote or remote <laughs> on it. With the with the horns. Yeah. Rock. Rocking it. Keep hmm. on rocking me, baby. Hmm. Uh, Mitch K asked if I still love my goon the answer is heck yeah in the beginning of the show I had it out and I showed it off a little bit love was playing. I love my he was caressing yes I love my goon I like it very much I need some coffee so this thing is indeed changing color and staying changed now you can see I've been vaping on it for a little while and it's still warm so it is, it's slowly changing back to black so it does change color as we go i'm a little disappointed that they only sent me the black one i'd like to see the yellow and red as well mm -hmm. but i can tell you guys that the yellow and red model also turn to gray um just like the black one does is there one that doesn't turn gray no it's the chameleon rda <laughs> oh you mean some other color no i don't think so sorry about that i was like hmm no um I don't think that there's another color. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there it is. It's turning black again. And now it's turning gray again. Ow. That is hot. <laughs> hot. I'm going down to 100 watts. Whoopsie. So you were at Skeletor hot a couple seconds ago. Yeah. Oh look, <coughs> my DNA 200 is down to 10% battery. Nice. You oh right? boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, turning white. There we go. In case you guys are curious, you see my DNA 200 is firing. And it's at 108 watts, and it's down to 9% charge. This thing will fire all the way down to like 4%. Oh, man. I really need to get a DNA 200. Hey, Chrissy Eisenogle. We just Hello. got Chrissy Eisenogle in chat. Great to see you. It's uh, 7.30, by the way. We're about three-quarters of the way through the show. This is Vape AM. I'm Zushi Jones. That's Skeletor Vapes right there, who's visiting us on Skype. And today, we're doing the unboxing and the first build and the first look of... The Hot Sig Chameleon RDA, which is changing colors as I vape it here. I'm going to turn off the desk view here for a second. Boom. Move Skeletor back down. Can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. Yeah, so this thing is changing colors as we speak. Bump, bump. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. I got some weird stuff in my head right now. <laughs> hey, Hellfish Fun Club. That's my buddy, well, Hellfish. That's, that's, <laughs> I didn't know your last name was Fun Club. <laughs> I, I really like that name. <laughs> Me too. That's hilarious. <laughs> avocado Fun Club. That's what we've got here. Got the avocado. In fact, I was going to tell, I was going to ask my friend Hellfish if he had seen the avocado yet. That's a good question. This little guy. We all are in love with our avocados because they're pretty fun. He'll let me know. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, I just I just burnt this thing to get the thing to change color again, and it's and I burnt the cotton and it smells. <laughs> I can totally smell burning cotton. Nice. And that's the other thing with uh, cotton bacon 2.0 and 1.0, and with lightning vapes and stuff that you don't get is this smell. Mm. <laughs> I don't ever. I it's noticeable because it's Muji that I'm using today. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah, yeah, in fact, it's still warm. It's still it's still kind of white. 
as we speak here. He says he has not, and it looks neat, and it is pretty dope. I'll do a little close up here. It's yeah, I see. Pretty, yeah, I got yeah, it's cool. Up. I think you'd dig it. We're on like a personal mission to get everyone to try the avocado because we think it's Damn, so good. Deltor and I have decided juice. to. Yeah. yeah, we've decided we're pretty much going to do our juice reviews on the avocado because it's such a good flavor RDA. It really opens up the flavors of the liquids, and it's just delicious. Oh, and Hellfish has his limo too. Right on. That's a great. That's a great tank. I had one, but I never used it, so I uh, I uh, viffed it forward. But yeah, it's good. That's mm -hmm. a good one. In fact, um, my friend Mike in San Diego was on a um, sub tank mini, and then uh, he got an avocado, and he freaking swears by it. He didn't even know how to build or anything. He just went out and got a Coa Master kit and an avocado. And called me and was like, look. I was like, you're awesome, dude. <laughs> you're totally awesome. Um, it's similar to a Jenny Hellfish. Uh, very similar. It's not, you know, identical to one. But uh, it is a the style, yet yeah, uh, similar. <laughs> it's got yeah, a lot style the, deck. The, the, character, it's, the, the characteristic it shares with the Genesis. The only characteristic it shares with the Genesis is that the tanks in the bottom of the deck is on top and you wick down through the deck. Um, the, it is nothing like a Genesis deck. A Genesis deck has two little air holes, sometimes one, opposing posts, two holes, and you put a single coil through it. And so there's a specific way the Genesis deck is arranged. And this one is just a velocity deck on top of a... a it's, it's, a it's like a new iteration of the, of the old Genesis idea that is a little bit better with cotton wicking. Um, although that will work with stainless steel, I just haven't done it yet. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so it's really it's it it borrows from the Genesis, but I I keep getting reminded that I I can't call this a Genesis style because the Genesis guys are always telling me that's not a Genesis, and so that's why that's why I always do this when I explain it to you guys is because I get so much crap from the the high end guys they're like that's not a Genesis and it's not I just want to point that out to you guys it's not a Genesis it just borrows from the Genesis and between you and me say that who cares you know what I mean like whatever it's just fine. Yeah, it I, it definitely does borrow from the Genesis. I I agree with that. Yeah. I, that actually, I think that's a really good way to uh, to describe it. it. It's not Genesis style, but it borrows some characteristics. Oh look, it's changing color on the camera. Heck yeah, look at that. I will in about forty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> there's only there's only one thing that I think is a little bit of a bummer about it is that it takes a huge amount of heat. It's fully gray now. It takes a lot of heat for it to turn fully white. Mm -hmm. or gray and it, it still has some liquid in it but it just burned up like almost a whole tank on there <laughs> just getting it to turn there it goes it's catching up Robbie Vape Shop's life has questions about the wicking on the on the avocado and stuff and so Thursday I'll just go over that and how it works okay because um, he doesn't get how the wicking in, in, in fact, what you don't realize, Robbie, is that the wicking does not go to the bottom of the tank. Right. Like, I never put in long wicks. This is the longest wick I ever use, and you can see it barely comes underneath here. Um, these only look weird because they're splayed out underneath here. They're actually really, really, really short. The one thing that absolutely every single owner of these bottom tank RTAs is, does is put in too much wicking. Mm -hmm. Every single yeah. person I know, every single person I see building them who doesn't do what I've told them to do, puts in too much wicking. Right. And luckily, before I even had it, I got a crash course tutorial on how to wick that bad boy from you. Because uh, this was originally yeah. my roommate Angelo's, and it had, you know, you had told him about the wicking and whatnot. He did it right away. I sat here and watched him. So when I finally got a hold of this and uh, a barter with him, I was like, yeah, well, let's re-wick this bad boy because I had some uh, Element Fresh squeezed in there. Yeah. And that was a hot slayer. So I got a crash course the morning of the uh, the show that we just had a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I, I re-wicked that bad boy. Yeah, it's cool. I remember I told Angelo how to wick it too, and when he changed, he was like, oh, it's much better. Mm -hmm. And it's because... Other people put in wicks that are too long. Anyway, I'll go over this again. I did a whole show about this on like my first or second Vape AM episode. You can go check that out. Mm -hmm. Where it's, I think it's called wicking the Fody or wicking, or wicking the avocado. I'm not sure which one, but both of them. I go over how to wick it, and um, 
on my Instagram actually I just did a post showing again how I wick these things and that was a little That's... bit interesting yeah this is so good I love them in fact I, I actually show have a blueberry custard in here right now that's banging dude it's by bad modder fogger it's called the bald bastard nice and it's an obnoxious blueberry custard but what's good about it is it, it's like a a sweet blueberry custard i'm digging it i'm actually getting this entire line for review i think uh, this is going to be a filmed review with um homie this line for right now nice. until i can get you some then we'll do a live on it as well sounds cool yeah, it's Check this uh, out. This is my Instagram page, and you'll notice that what I've done is I went in and I took a few pictures of me of me wicking the Evogo bottom tank RTA, which has got the same wicking style. And you'll see this one right here. That's how much I wick. They barely stick out of the bottom. And the reason is that the natural action of vaping, if you're using thick juice like we do these days, the natural act of vaping will get most of that stuff up into, just from capillary action, into those things as you as you tilt it. And this is also just a 2 mil tank, so it's so tiny you don't have to go down inside there. The smaller the tank, the less wick you need. The bigger the inside diameter and the hotter the build, the more wick you need. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like, I put a little bit more wicking in stuff that has... A very wide inside diameter but not very much more a little bit more um, it's kind of a finesse thing you have to kind of like work on it oh bye everybody yeah. micker's going and uh looks like we lost brett he had to take off so thank you guys for watching good Most morning tough. to everybody it's about 7 35 we're just we went through our this thing is still hot we're looking at the chameleon my hot sig today and i like this thing so far i got no complaints Oh, we're down to 4% on my battery. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm changing batteries. Because my DNA 200 has more than one battery. Hey, my DNA 200 ran out of batteries. What do I do? Just pop in a new one. <coughs> but I can't do that. And this was at 71%, so I didn't charge it all the way yesterday. I'm steadily running the battery down on this dope poke. It's up. Rather much. Yeah, so it's funny. Chain vaping on this thing doesn't actually make it change color so much. Holding the button down for a long time does. Mm -hmm. Now, I did just squeeze a whole bunch of liquid down right into the center, and it didn't leak. So that's good. But watch how fast this thing changes color if I just press the button a lot. All right, the vaping postman is out. He says, uh, "Bugging out to work." I guess he's going to work. Bye, or something. vaping postman. Maybe he's posting. Maybe. Hmm. So, uh, you can get these chameleons, by the way at fast tech and their authentics and um also if you go to the hot sig website which is hot dash vapor.com which i'll put in the description later yeah, yeah that's cool i think you can also get them on alibaba in bulk if you want yeah i'm gonna have to use this for a couple of weeks and see what i think but so far i don't have any huge complaints about it that's a plus. I don't know exactly how much they cost. Maybe I'll go check that out real quick. Not oh, too shabby. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm interested to see how much they cost. Here we are. It is twenty-five dollars, which is not expensive. And uh, they come in black, red, and yellow. And they ship in seven business days from now, so around the 14th. Okay. Oh, the 7th, excuse me. Um, so that's pretty cool. I personally, you know, as far as just the colors go, I would totally go for yellow and red. I mean, whatever, it's cool. 
So 25 bucks is not too much. They come, you can get them at least from Fast Tech. I'm sure you can get them elsewhere as well once retailers start picking these up. They've only been out just a little while. And uh, Demi Dons is asking about this hot sig DNA. Yeah, it's a DNA 200. I love this thing so much. You can get these on Fast Tech too. Not too bad. I prefer the dog drip drip in here. That's very loud, though. Again? Sorry? I said that is very loud, though. Is it? Oh, yeah. I think it's only because I'm vaping right next to my mouth, next to the mic. That could be, too. But, uh... Because the actual RDA is not louder than anything else, really. Yeah, okay. It could be that it's right next to the mic. Oh, it is. I mean, it's literally two inches from the microphone. Um, but, because it's not as loud as a as a crown not as loud as the moonshot hey hellfish is taking off too hey man have a great morning dude super Definitely. great morning good to see you sir he's gonna Thanks be good bye he's gonna go do his it machinations that's one of my old buddies from twitter and gaming and stuff nice. um love that guy and badass vapor says he wants to get one of those for his black and white rx's that's a great idea. You want me to put it on my black RX? That would be cool with a black and white RX, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm unscrewing it, and it's just moving. It's not unscrewing. Oh, there, it came undone. So, Sean Taft might have had a good point about the... About the, uh... The O-rings, maybe changing them. Replace the o ring yeah, I have to do that with a lot of RDAs and tanks, and so that kind of bugs me. And it's a it's a minor con. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I may not have to do that. Uh, this isn't like this thing isn't. I mean, coming from the goon, this thing isn't quite the same. The goon is like heavy duty piece of metal that is supposed to be you know completely bulletproof. This is designed to be a little bit more budgety and cooler. I mean, cooler in the like it changes color kind of way. I'm just gonna put some more RBF on this. Gotcha. Resting bitch face. That's what I got rolling on the uh, phenotype on the appearing mod right now. I've gone through like 15 mils of that already. Yeah, this thing. The audio was a little bit. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. What about the audio? It was cracking a little bit. Oh, my God. I believe it. What's the, uh, the maw on the hot sig battery? Uh, on this one, I have two 900 mAh batteries. That was a that came up in chat. I have two 900 mAh batteries. They sell a 900, a 1300, and a double gotcha. 18650 sled. Right. Okay, how many watts do you think I should put on here? Uh, 95. 90? Yeah, there we go. I was going to say 40 95. isn't enough. That's where it was. This thing looks killer. On... Here. You got a vape nose. Oh. <laughs> and I plowed through all that e-liquid that I just dripped on here already. Nice. Those, so uh, my coils are working. Some juice. <laughs> The little spaced coils are working. And you guys notice that I put in spaced coils, and how long did it take me to groom them? Zero. It took no time at all to yeah. make sure they were firing evenly. Because that's what that was the tip from Phil Basardo. He's like everything almost everything I build is spaced because it doesn't take any work. And it doesn't significantly change your homage. Unless you're trying to cram in a huge amount of stuff on your RDA. Yeah. yeah. This thing totally turns white. It's a little bit of a bummer that the logo turns white last. I wish the logo turned white first. You know? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Like, you have to pretty much vape it all the way. The logo's the very last thing that fully... I'm so sorry my focusing isn't working very well because we're clouded out like crazy in here. But it does look cool. Badass Vapor says try a low waters to see how long it takes to turn, like uh, 25 watts. You know, I don't think it does turn. I think I could keep it white. 
But I don't think I could turn it white at 25 watts. I'll try that a little bit later. Ooh. Ramp wow. up time. Yeah, I didn't get uh, much sleep last night. I apologize to everybody for yawning so damn much. Oh, my God. I crashed out at 2 and was up at 4. Eek. The ramp up time's crazy. So Skeletor taking a nap directly after. <laughs> and I tell you, at 25 watts, this thing gets... Well, it's not that hot. It's too hot for your lips on the thing. Uh -oh. okay. I just can't vape this at 25 watts. Not hot enough for this coil. Forty-five is adequate, and the taste on this atomizer is good. It's very good. It has good flavor. It's a little bit rickety on its O-rings. That's really my principal complaint so far, but I like it. I definitely crave more watts. It feels like it's cooling down because it's turning black again as I vape. Go back to the 95 watts. 99 watts. And oh yeah, let's drip again, shall we? Yeah, you don't want to get a cotton swap. <laughs> this build I put in here is like a freaking super juice consumption device. Super. <laughs> no, Jimmy, it's not the kittens keeping me awake. It's just the fact that I don't sleep. Which, by the way, yes, my uh, cat Zeppelin did have her babies. Five of them. I'm just taking an Instagram picture, you guys. Because that's the rule. Must take Instagram. Yeah, there we go. Just trying to make sure I've got one that's in focus, which I don't. Lol. Focus, please. Shane Smith is here. He says, hey guys, been watching, not in chat. Nice RDA. Yeah, I like this. It's okay. Hi, Shane. Great to see you, man. Yeah, it also looks it looks good on everything I put it on so far. The black and white is a good combo. They sent that one, and I realized that it's fairly good. It goes with everything. And the white and the yellow will be more situational. It's cool. I love the way it looks on my DX. I love the way it looks on my on my Rouleau. I'll try it here on the Cuboid, see what happens. Ooh, it's hot. I'm holding it. It's hot. 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 Ouch. 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 <laughs> wow. It's a little hot. Just a teeny weeny bit. Looks pretty darn good on the Rouleau too. I mean on the Cuboid as well. Yeah. Let's get the desk pick up. I'm waiting to see what your uh, facial expression is about to be. This thing is still real hot. It's like it hasn't cooled down yet. And we're going up to 90 watts. Get it. Watts. Get it, get it. This avocado, though, I'm going to have to refill it here in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Note to self, when the RDA is light colored, it's hot. Right, exactly. <laughs> This thing makes a good connection on all my all my atomizers so far. Let's stick it on the Nuve mod because this thing is 0.46. It's plenty high for the series box. Plenty, plenty, plenty high. First, though, let's measure our batteries, shall we? To see where they're at. In fact, I'm just taking these out because they're 1500 ma. I'm sure they're almost dead. I'm going to put in my homework batteries. 
April Middle says she loves white mods and RDAs, and that's true, sort of why. It's like this, the Empire Strikes Back look. I never that's get tired racist. of that, ever. Why y'all gotta be racist? Why's it gotta be white mods and RDAs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Always trying to keep the black black mod down. Right? What, what's wrong? Hey, bye, William. Have a great day, man. It's great to see you. William is taking off in chat there. Peace, great brother. To see ya. All right. Okay. So, here we are in the series box. We're at 0.43. I'm going to turn it up to 100%. That's where it's at. Oh, yeah. Works like a charm. So, what should I put in the avocado next, juice wise? Uh, something you got last weekend. Okay. I can one do that. Something. Some some one of those things. Um, I am going to put in ass juice. Yeah, the ass juice. It's called Donkey Show. Vape that ass. And it is a funnel cake with like a chocolate drizzle type thingy on it. It's so good. So damn good. You guys have to forgive me. I have to. I'm trying to show you the thing burning, but I have to keep on re-wicking. Re juicing. It's because you're vaping the shit out of that thing. Yeah. I'm really just dry burning it to get the get the logo to appear. <laughs> Owen said he's from Detroit. They murder everything there. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Vape that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Yeah, so that's Sorry. pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. Works great on the series box. I think for the series box, if I could do it again, I would get the yellow one or the red one. Um, uh -huh. Or maybe one day they'll make a green one. and That'd be cool. That but would looks, be really cool. Yeah, but it's pretty cool in black. Oh, I should put the green drip tip on. What am I doing? Uh, right. It looks helps. absolutely fantastic with the green drip tip. I should have thought of that. All right. So I have filled the avocado up with ass juice. I just wanted to say that. Chrissy in chat says, nice Nuve mod, Juicy. Thank you very much. I like it, too. We love Louis Cruz. He gave me this. We love our Nuve mods. That's right. Louis is the channel's only actual official sponsor besides... The awesome people at Sketchy Vapes, which are absolutely fantastic. Pug Chop and Big Louie's Cuz Review were on mm -hmm. the team. That's right. Got to meet those boys in Tampa, both Pug Chop and Big Lou. And I tell you what, Big Lou's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, guys like us, we're tall, you know. But he's he's got us by a couple of inches. Yeah, he's, he's huge. Because I'm pretty sure those guys that I always see him in pictures with are not tiny. He makes them look tiny. He makes you look tiny. Because yeah. he's like the same as you, up, almost uh, but skinny. <laughs> bring up my uh, the Instagram and show the picture. Now, mind you, Juicy and I are just about at six and a half feet tall. And Lou had to bend over in the picture to be my height. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely unreal. Hey, look who happens to be on my... Uh, it happens to be right there on my homepage when I got, went to Instagram. It's Kiki Vapes. Everyone go follow Kiki Vapes. She's awesome. K-I-K-I? -I. Underscore Vapes, yes. I'm on it right now. Just picked up the phone. Vape on, girl. She's cool. I really like her. Good example of Vape Classy. So let's look at my page here. I've got your Instagram here. Hmm. Pretty recently. Oh, I'm already following Kiki. Okay. Good. My Instagram page is slamming. There you are. Yeah, look, he's bent over. He's like a little taller than you. And look, see, Pug Chop, he's like six foot. He's not like a little guy. Mm -mm. Those guys are great. I love those guys. They're really nice. They're busy, 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 busy. Doing that thing. Um... 
so yeah, so Lewis sponsors us, and he sent me a mod, and now I have a beautiful series mod to work on and to use that is not going to fail. This thing is really nice, too. It's great. It's good. Yes, sir. Oh, here we go. I just caught up. April Miller said she's scared to vape a juice called Ash Juice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just as long as they don't name it Santorum, I'll vape it. <laughs> no, that, of course, means Ash Juice. And thank you to Shane Smith in chat who says he enjoys my Instagram pics. I appreciate it. I really like sure. Instagram. Also, I'm on Snapchat, by the way, guys. Juicy Jones HQ, if you want to be on Snapchat. Snapchat is Snapchat. You know how it is. I've been thinking about uh, diving into the land of Snapchat. Yeah. I actually just got the Tumblr going, but I basically just share all my Instagram on yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Snapchat. Here we are. Let me turn this around. Snapchat, check it out. I'm on live right now. Hello. Hey, hey. It's pretty fun. And I don't even know how to use Snapchat, to be honest. I just add everything to my story. Is that what you do? I don't even know. No idea. Yes, Kiki underscore vapes. Yeah, she's great. She's a really nice gal. And uh, she's like a doctor or a nurse or something. And anyway, she's just a cool, she's just representing Vape Classy. No skin or boobs in our page anyway. Actually, there's skin. No boobs. No boobs. Nowhere. Don't need them. <laughs> Can I taste your ass juice? That's what <laughs> Owen said. <laughs> there you go. Try right here. That's you pretty can funny. Taste my ass juice. I want to try that ass juice too. It's kind of been making the rounds in the last two or three weeks on Instagram and through the reviewers, and we're all starting to see it. And I think probably if ass juice has their way, a lot of people will start seeing that real soon retail and stuff they're trying to get it into retail so we're all just first trying it so it's pretty good yeah uh, the guy said that he hasn't been around long i got to speak with the creator and uh it uh it it's good stuff oh my god he's got another one called dingleberries it's like a mountain dew meets skittles <laughs> and larry webb actually bought a bottle of that because he said it's perfect fucking gamer juice hey and thanks to dustin swan for coming in to chat to you You're welcome, yeah buddy. dustin thank you very much sir that's cool. Yeah, Larry loves it, huh? In case you guys are wondering, Larry is the owner of Toot Juice and the fellow that makes Jim, our favorite vape. Or Jim 2, rather, is my favorite vape. And Fritta, Skeletor's favorite vape. My favorite. Here she is. Yeah. Big 120 of that beastie that's... Uh, Larry, help me, dude. I'm almost out. Oh, dude, don't even tell me about it. I spent my last spare money on the last bottle of <laughs> Jim 2 I bought. Okay. This is good. <laughs> Badass Vapor says, never ask a girl to taste some of her ass. You'll get slapped, apparently. Say, mama, back that ass up this monkey. Let me slap that ass, or whatever the guy said. Do you remember the, the jive translations from years ago? Yeah, on airplane. Hey, oh, no, not on airplane. On This was like an internet meme when the internet was oh, was new. It? Yeah, it was oh, like a, yeah. the 90s Holy internet shit. meme. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, remember the sound the, file? Like, online and whatnot. Yeah, and the sound file, the guy was like, I really like those sneakers. Like, ooh, those sneakers are very nice. I like them a lot, sir. And the translation is, Drop them Nikes off your ass before I blast you, motherfucker! Which yeah. is really funny. <laughs> and, uh, and don't forget, the purpose of that joke is to make fun of white people, not the reverse. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just in case anyone's wondering, it's the opposite of racism. <laughs> it's, it's, it's showing it. Anyway, it was a very funny parody. It's a funny piece of satire. And they went through like eight or ten hilarious things that some guy said that were like... And one of them was some proposition to a woman. Or he was like, you're a beautiful woman. I'd like to make love to you. And he said like, back that ass up and let me slap that monkey or something like that. <laughs> I say it to my girlfriend all the time. And she's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> so Ryan Berman's still there. He's building coils. Yep, and looks like we are uh, getting some good reaction from the uh, the chat on this. And Josh C goes, and I'm back, and he's too late. He missed the uh, translations. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Josh, missed it. You'll have to watch once, the replay. Yeah, because once we close, yeah, you'll never ha you'll never see this again, except all the time on YouTube. Just kidding. Hmm. So it's about 7:59. We probably got five or ten minutes left here. Mm -hmm. Um, not too much. I don't really have too much to say except that. This is the first look at the Chameleon RDA. 
which I, so far, first impressions, pretty good. And uh, the color changing is kind of groovy. And besides that, we're going to be doing a wood box application onto my RX Thursday. And that's nice. this guy right here. And I'm going to do that live on the desk cam. And uh, that was one of the reasons he gave me this was that I told him, hey, I can do this live on screen. I can do it and show people how easy it is. And um, Or I might screw this up. Who knows? Um, and uh, anyway, I'm very excited about this. And I'm going to do that Thursday. And uh, I think next Tuesday we're going to do a Clapton tutorial with Sean Taft of uh, Calls for Advocacy, if he's free. Word. And uh, that's going to be really fun because I've got 26 and 32 Nichrome 80. This is formula for a Clapton. And um, now that I have this, we're going to... I have a drill. I'm going to get some some swivels and then that's going to be cool. Uh, and what else? And we have juice reviews coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, a bunch yep. of those. We, uh, we've got Nubla coming, which I was oh, able yeah. to meet up with those cats down here, and they had sent you juice. Yeah. So we'll be doing that. Uh, live. Also, there is a Seattle company that is going to send me some samples that I'm going to send to you, Skeletor. I think they're going to send them straight to me. And Word. in fact, you can tell me, would you like three? Yes, three, Nick, please. Okay. Let me tell That's them. That's my that. jam. That's my jam. Oh, uh, the uh, also the Z Clouds has been dropped off at Wicked Park Vapor. Um, I've got two sets. They're both one and a half Nick. Um, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to get that into your box as well. We'll live review that as soon as I can get this box out to you. That sounds killer. Yeah, it's uh, four or five juices based off of Dragon Ball Z. Like the, uh, oh. one, of the uh, yeah. one of the flavors name is Saiyan Blood or whatever the, however the hell it's pronounced. Um, oh, Robbie Vapes Up Life says he's got a an RX on Thursday, and he has a copper and gold wrap. Really? Yeah. So that's cool. Sexy. Yeah. Hmm. That's good. Oh, and uh, here at WTF Vapors, a couple of uh, big announcements. I'm doing the review for the Dopo Guardian 1.5 V2. Um, you guys notice I did have a black V2 earlier. It had button issues, which was just with that particular machine. Um, I've got to play with a couple more. I got a green one now, and uh, the button issues that I had are null and void. They went ahead and replaced it and said, here, use this one. And I'm like, hey, green, okay, cool. We'll rock with it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I've been rocking this bad boy and getting my thoughts on it and doing a lot of Instagram stuff and Facebook stuff with it. And, yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I've got uh, a uh, a Dovepo DNA 200 coming in a couple of weeks. That's going to be fun. That's really uh, cool. You'll finally yeah. have a DNA 200 to call your own and to experiment with. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna torture test the fuck out of it, dude. I mean, you know me. I'm gonna put it to the test and see how it goes. So far, with the the new Guardian 1.5 V2, I've noticed a lot of different things from. Uh, the initial Guardian that I did the review on a while back. It's uh, on WTF Vapors YouTube. Make sure um, that when also, you get your DNA 200, you let me know and we get on the phone right away and I'll tell you the first things you have to do before you use it at all. You oh, can't yeah, just pop yeah. it out of the box and charge it and use it. Although you, you technically can. You can pop it out and put the USB on, wait for it to be full. But it will behoove you to do a few things like the battery analyzer and the case analyzer and it'll take all afternoon. It takes like four hours to do the battery analyzer. That's um, fine. That's fine. I, I have no problems with uh, getting technical before I start vaping on it. I wanted to hook it up to the eScribe software anyways right away and start doing the, the battery changes and start setting up the profiles and making it say hashtag I'm Skeletor bitch and all that kind of stuff. You know? Hey, look, at Highlander just came on, one of our British buddies, mm -hmm. and he got his Tsunami today with his Phantom. Nice. Yeah, with his new Watofo Phantom mod, so that's cool. Both in stainless. That's awesome. Congratulations, The, the Watofo Phantom mod, is that like the Chieftain? Or what is that? I must not know what the Phantom one is, but I really want one of those Chieftains. I like Watofo mods. They're kind of cool. It's a tube mod. and uh, oh, okay. I it's, remember. Uh, it's very nice. It's got the Phantom of the Opera mask on the button and stuff like that. I remember now. I just forgot about that. It's slightly older, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. slightly older. It's been around a, a little while, probably about six or so months seven or eight months yeah that's what i thought okay yeah. good oh yeah yeah cool. but uh yeah I just also forgot about that. today we're actually going to be laying down some film reviews um homie is back and he will be here after his doctor's appointment today and we'll be uh getting some reviews done on some single juices awesome. that i've got sitting around so that'll be fun 
the man, the myth, the legend, homie, the one that started WTF Vapors with me is back, so we're going to be cracking the fuck up. I already know it. That's I fun. already know it. Yep. Um, that, um, that tsunami is killer, but somebody mentioned to me the other day that the sub he liked a Sub-Zero better than a tsunami, so I really want, want both of one of those, and I really want a, a Sub-Zero anyway and a tsunami. Right. Um, but we were looking at the Sub-Zero for a long time yesterday on Skype, just looking at the web. Skeletor and me and James Reeves, and we were just like, mm, "Want one?" Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was pretty fun. And so, yeah, what's so hardware-wise? I've got a 300 watt box mod coming mm-hmm. here pretty soon, and um, that I'm going to review that and do a first look and everything. And don't forget also, when this is all over and this finally reposts, to either go to the Facebook group and leave a reminder, um, or go and uh, um, leave a comment on this thing right here. Yeah, for sure. And I see only one thumbs up, and that's me. I know that for a fact. Um, be sure, everybody, to thumbs up this video. We you know we had a fun time sitting here and uh, shooting the shit with you guys. Let us know that you had a fun time, too. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are great. Don't forget to subscribe to us everywhere. Subscribe to this. Subscribe to WTF Vapors. And subscribe to uh, my Facebook page <laughs> and to the... Um to the uh, Instagram pages we have. So we have a cool Facebook group. And if you like these videos, like, subscribe, all that stuff. We love all you guys who visit and hang out with us live, and it's so cool. And it's been really fun doing this. That's right. Uh, Coming soon, I'm going to have my live shows up and uh, going. We've been working on putting together my overlays and stuff like that. And um, I think, uh, Juicy, if you have time later on this afternoon, I'd like to sit down and get some more shit taken care of with it. I think I do. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, don't forget to uh, visit us at Instagram. I'm at Skeletor Vapes. And I am at Juicy Jones HQ for real. Faux shizzle, my nizzle. Let me uh, grab my appearing mod and juice up with some resting bitch face. <clears throat> I should actually probably find the broadcast window wherever it is somewhere. It's here somewhere, I tell you. So you can hit the stop streaming button. Yeah. I do recommend you do that every once in a while. Could you imagine if we didn't stop streaming? I can imagine. You can only go eight hours, though. It would take forever for it to come up. Okay. So don't forget, it takes a little while, maybe an hour or more, for this thing to get uh, processed in HD on the thing. So it'll be a little while before it posts. And we love all you guys. Thanks so much. Let's vape out here. All right. For sure, for sure. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And remember, everybody, kick cigarettes, vape on, stay cloudy. And as always, peace out, y'all. That's right. I love you. I love vapors. Let's go. Thank you.